Good morning, everybody. It's a new year. What is your New Year's resolutions? What is y'all gonna do different for 2020? Type in the comments and let me know. It's a new year, it's a new decade. Remember, not everybody was blessed to see this decade. Not everybody was, you know what I'm saying, alive today. Not everybody made it to 2020. You one of the blessed ones, you one of the chosen ones, you one of the lucky ones to still be alive and still be here for this new year, for this new decade. So make the most of it, man. Don't let it pass you by and don't waste no time, man, because not everybody made it to see this day, man. So let's make the most of this new year and this new decade. So we made it back home from the grocery store and I told Lucky that I wanted to do like a sit down and talk to y'all basically about 2020 goals and just the vision, you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like it was necessary because this time last year, you guys, we had what? We started vlogging at the very end of December yeah. of 2018. So coming into 19, this time last year was like one of our first videos that I was in because I quit my job and I literally decided that we were going to just go be full-time vloggers yeah we were just gonna dive in head first into this whole youtube vlogging thing and just to see the growth and everything that we did last year like on youtube from pop-ups to what else releasing merch and just little things like that it just blows my mind like it's just like psh yeah, we really appreciate all the love that we got. And for this year in 2020, we're going to try to vlog daily as much as we can. We can't make you know, guarantees or promises that it's going to be every day, seven days a week. But we are going to try our best to do daily vlogs, upload a little something every day it's just better when we do it every day it's like we're in a rhythm we the know the chemistry that we're do it. is there whenever we do it on a daily because whenever we take a break it's kind of like okay we're gonna vlog and then i'm just like all right so what do you want me to do yeah what are we gonna vlog about yeah uh, but once we when you do it every day it just comes natural because you know it's gonna you're gonna turn the camera on and do it today every day so it's easier for us to do it every day so we're super excited for 2020 because we have goals. And if you haven't set any goals yet, I very much recommend, like, recommend for you, you to write sit down. down. Some goals. Yeah, sit down, write them down. It could be short term, it could be long term. But as long as you're doing something to work towards those goals you are making improvement me personally my goals i want to work on myself i want to do self-improvement and really take like some self inventory on myself and be a better man a better father and just set a good example for my kids and for all my viewers and everybody that watches you know what i'm saying i know i got a lot of young men that look up to me and young men that follow my guidance and you know what i'm saying so i gotta lead by example and just um just be a better man, be more healthy, be more uh, in shape, stop drinking as much alcohol and you know what I'm saying? Like, I just gotta be, uh, hold on, man. hold on, hold on. I just got a, a phone call that I, um, somebody that I knew that was pretty, I knew very well 
had passed away on New Year's Eve. It was it was somebody that just um, come from a very good background, good family, you know what I'm saying? And it lets you know that addiction doesn't care if you got money or if, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, even me, like I wanna, I wanna apologize uh, for my all the drug references I've made over the years in my music, and I know as rappers we sometimes make drugs sound cool to do, and we make it sound fly to you know what I'm saying get messed up and be on drugs, and and it's really nothing cool about it. So that's one thing that I'm giving up personally for this year's drug references in my music like you ain't gonna hear no more drug references in my music because like i said like i got people that look up to me and also my children if i'm making drug references and music making it seem like it's cool to be you know what i'm saying sipping or popping pills or any of that I got little kids that look up to me and they gonna think that's the way to go and it's not the way to go man so we need to leave that behind in this new decade in this new 2020 man let's leave all the drugs drug addiction, all the drugs, the pills, the drug references. Let's leave that alone, man. There's too many rappers that done died. Just a lot of people have been taken out over drugs, you know what I'm saying? People that, people that I know that are close to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, more than, you know what I'm saying, I could name. I just want to uh, let y'all know if y'all going through that, if y'all going through any kind of opioid addiction, man, you got to pray to God. God, the only one that's going to get you through that, man. You got to get on your knees and pray to God. Because you ain't going to be able to do it without God, man. Let's leave them drugs alone. And uh, just stay clean, man. Keep our, keep our heads straight and let's get to the money. I just got to practice what I preach. You know what I'm saying? Because I be, I be sometimes, I, I ain't perfect and I be slipping and I be falling off sometimes. And I just got to, I got to just... You know what I'm saying? Do do right by myself. You know what I'm talking about? So that's my plans to work on myself and be a better man that I know I can be. That's another thing that we wanted to encourage. Don't just make goals like business-wise or career-wise. Or, like, make goals for yourself. Make goals for your business. Make goals for your, like, just in different areas of your life. All the different areas of your life. Uh, make goals so for instance him his that's his personal goals i have my own personal goals as well which is i'm gonna try and clean up my act a little bit i don't want to cuss as much i know y'all don't see me cussing as much but there's sometimes where i get like super comfortable in the hood the southwest comes out of me <laughs> so i'm trying to like really like self-improve in that area and also like jump into having um my hobbies my daily hobbies like painting and um maybe even working out as well like, yeah I know, that's what i want i know i want to work out even though more. i'm pregnant um i know that there is some workouts that i can do while i'm pregnant and if you know any girl type down below in the comments let me know because i am all for it um but we do want to get back into that rhythm of having a schedule so our relationship goals you want to talk about our relationship goals I want to like look at each other in each other's <laughs> eyes and be like, we can't go do that. Like we gotta save, we gotta smash on the gas on just our business, yeah. trying to go hard. Yeah, because we did spend a lot of money last year. When I be doing like going over my numbers and my accounting at the end of the month, I, I'm at the end of every month I go over my accounting and see how much you know what I'm saying we spent or how much we made, and. It's just like the more money that we make, the more money we spend, we spend you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I mean, there's people that make millions of dollars, but they still broke at the end of the year and don't got nothing because they just spend it all, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we need to work on this year is stop spending so much damn money. So I guess it falls on both business and relationship because um, we do run a self-employed business, you know what I'm saying? Like we do it on our own and I just, I guess on my end of the relationship i want to work on talking you through not spending not so spending so much money because a lot of times he'll like come up with an idea and i'm just like all right whatever let's just go with the flow and then we end up in florida yeah, you know because no, i've been trying to take the kids show them places that you know what i'm saying that i didn't get to see when i was young or you know what i'm saying i just want the kids to have a have a good time but i think we've done showed them enough you know what i'm saying they they, they they're they're spoiled now, they're, they're, now just, they're like accustomed and now they feel like it's like a a necessity for yeah. us it's just like why y'all ain't taking us somewhere today you know what i'm saying and it's just they take it 
you giving them a hand and they pull you by the leg. Yeah, so now they, they already they already know what's up. So well, I ain't gotta just be trying to and, and then like I said, like I told you on previous blogs, like they hadn't always lived with me. Kingston and Gigi and they hadn't always lived with me, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like I just, I don't know, like I owed them or something, you know what I'm saying? Like now that they lived with me, I wanted to show them a good time or show them, you know what I'm saying? Like make them feel like it's fun to be with that. With that. And you know what I'm saying? I came in the picture and we just been like, trying to spoil them and love on them yeah but you know we can do that without taking them to florida or taking them on vacations to colorado or like you know what i'm saying like yeah. you don't have to do all that um just by spending some quality time teaching them or helping them with homework or teaching them a little bit of discipline cooking with them which we do a lot you know it's just I feel like we need to just cut back on spending. So I challenge y'all as well. If y'all have a family, even if you're single, but if you spend a lot of money on entertainment, because a lot of times it's out of like boredom or like yeah. whatever the situation That's is. That's what it be. I'd be at home in the room watching TV and be on the weekend and just be bored and be like, let's go do this. Let's ready go. to get up out the house for no reason. We ain't even got to go nowhere. You just bored or whatever but um just find a hobby found it find an outlet that does not require you to go out and spend money and then it's kind of hard for us because whenever we do go out it's like all of us you know yeah. what i'm saying and so it it's expensive just, yeah it gets really 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 expensive but another goal i guess business let's jump into the business side now which we kind of started this video off like that um business wise we're gonna daily vlog you guys and if we don't come through on on like one two days don't you know judges don't shit comes up man. things we, come up we actually have plans to record a new intro oh yeah we record a new intro on saturday we were supposed to do it on new year's day but we you know did. it was new year's day you know what i'm saying but, yeah. i got thank you for that i'm super excited but yeah like business wise youtube we're gonna go hard on youtube we're gonna try and create uh more content daily fun chill um entertaining and also educational and let's just start off this year with a fresh new positive mindset and don't go let don't let the end of the year come and just be another year wasted you know what i'm saying make make the most out of this year don't just let it go by and you know what i'm saying nothing happened this year so make the most out of it you don't want it to be another wasted year yeah, because it's easy to say, oh, it's a new year, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to, you know, yada, 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 X, Y, and Z. And then March comes around and you ain't even started on any of this. So, um, just take five minutes out of your day, right after this video. Sit down, write some goals, and make sure that you manifest. That's a big thing for us. We like to manifest. We like to vision it, speak it, and try and work towards it you know what i'm saying even if we don't successfully accomplish it we at least are trying and trying to move pieces here yeah. and there to try and get closer to that you know so we just want to motivate y'all you guys luchi gang make sure y'all set some goals for this year don't let it be another wasted year if you got a regular nine to five when you come home from work you should be working on some kind of other side hustle whether if it's selling something on ebay or just having some kind of hustle of your for yourself you know what i'm saying because you everybody got the same 24 hours in a day man it's just how you use it and what you do with them but yeah we really appreciate y'all for watching like i said at the beginning don't forget to stay true and hit the like button Already, man.